Hi guys, welcome back to Nightmares Anime Chronicles, the place where we go through the most gripping anime moments. Today we're going to go through a popular series which I'm sure you all have heard of before. Dr. Stone, is it worth watching? What factors does it have that make it worth watching? Why I would recommend it to someone? So sit back and relax while I go through everything and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So first of all, let me give you guys some context on what Dr. Stone is about. Basically, we have one insanely smart dude who literally knows the basics from making a light bulb to a nuclear reactor. And basically, the whole world got petrified and my mind's out here building civilization one by one. That was probably the worst description I could give of the anime and y'all are probably gonna wanna sue me, but oh well. So now, you're probably gonna hit me with a blast of questions like, what is this new One Piece building? Because the show's gonna take forever if they're gonna start from scratch like that. Well, lucky for you, the pacing is just at the right speed and it happens a lot quicker than you would expect because Senku is literally every single instruction manual in the world combined into one. All right, I can just see the next question from miles away. Well, if I want to just watch people build things, I would just go play Minecraft or something. Well, guys, you're in luck because this is where the amazing storyline comes into place because not everyone shares Senku's dream of bringing everyone back. In fact, we have groups of people who believe that a form of artificial selection should take place. And as a result of that, we plunge into a world of good old fistfights. Now, the good thing about this is seeing how creative Senku's group gets with the resources around them so that they are able to bridge the gap between brute strength. Because let's be real, everyone's just not at the same unless we're going to, you know, brutally just kill each other. And to make things even more interesting, new seasons are being released and we are plunged into a world of adventure as they explore new islands, trying to find the petrification device. Another factor that makes this show quite interesting, I would say, is the world building. Now we are at a literal stone age and starting humanity from scratch. So we see them working with the bare minimum that is available to them and discovering things new by new, upgrading their equipment, just step by step, like discovering oil, making wheat. This journey is unfolding right in front of us. It is quite the experience and can also be quite satisfying. You know, I enjoy watching something like that. All in all, I think the conclusion that we can all collectively come to is that unless you're like a freak of nature who is obsessed with watching romance anime, this is something I would 100% recommend you guys getting into. But what do you all think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.